Good morning everyone, welcome to another video in Aura's Inside. Today I have a different video for you that I hope you can find very useful. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also give it a like and leave a nice comment. You can also tap the little notification bell so that YouTube will tell you every time I upload a new video. For today's video, as you saw in the title, we are going to talk about uh, some mistakes that Spanish students make, okay? This um, is a video where I'm going to show you uh, the most common mistakes I have found in my students, okay? I have like a record about their mistakes. I'm not going to mention any name, okay? If you are my student, don't worry about it but I think we can uh, take advantage of this and make a video so that you can learn if for example you are not my student but you're making this mistake you can learn how to correct it okay today we'll be seeing five mistakes so um, this would be the first part of many videos um, if I see you like this videos I would continue okay so let's start, okay? The first mistake I have here is um, when we use the word gente in Spanish, okay? Gente in Spanish is people, right? In Spanish, the word gente, which is a group of people, is um, singular, okay? That's why we would say la gente es amable, for example, right? Or en los restaurantes hay mucha gente, okay? We would use is, es amable, and we wouldn't say gentes, okay? We just say gente for a group of people. Another mistake is when we use the word or the verb gustar, okay? We would say it a little bit different depending on the next Thing. If we are talking about singular things like um, este carro, ¿listo? so I would say me gusta este carro. But let's say that I'm talking about these cars, okay, in plural. I have to change, right? And I would say me gustan estos carros, okay? Me gusta, me gustan. The word problem in Spanish problema okay this is a mistake that many students make and it's about what article to use so problema is masculine okay so we would use in spanish el problema un problema tengo un problema okay not una problema right i know that the last letter is an A, but not all the time we are going to find um, words that end um, in A and they are feminine. For example, mano, mano, it ends with an O, okay, but it is uh, feminine. I would say la mano, not el mano. So we have to be careful because maybe there are some exceptions. Number four, when we talk about the time, when we talk about the hour, okay, and we want to give it, so what time is it? Que hora es? But if, for example, uh, I, the hour is this one, I would say son las dos, okay? Son las dos de la tarde, son las tres, cuatro, cinco, son las diez, all right? We are gonna use the singular way only with one, okay? Es la una, son las dos, son las tres, son las cuatro, son las cinco, son las seis, etc. The only one that is in singular is with one pain, es la una. The use of muy and mucho, okay? For example, in this sentence, la zanahoria es mucho buena para tus ojos. So, be careful because there, the correct word would be, la zanahoria es muy buena para tus ojos, okay? And if you want to learn more about it, don't forget to watch my YouTube video where I already explained uh, how to use muy and mucho. So thank you so much and I hope that 
we all learn about uh, these mistakes okay and if you usually make these mistakes now you know how to speak Spanish in a better way don't forget to support me with a like also subscribing to the channel and leaving a nice comment and you can also check out my patreon account so i will be waiting for you there bye